Home for the weekend, Christmas, Christmas Eve, all that jazz. Home with Beth. Uh, home to see family, obviously. Uh, currently doing the stretches for a run on Christmas Eve. So we're supposed to have a workout today, but you got canceled because my coach accidentally copied and pasted last week's Friday workout to today. And we did two workouts, Wednesday and Thursday. So we don't have a third workout in a row today, which is good. It means I just got to get a medium run in. So we'll see how it goes and I'll try to vlog some of it. See how we're doing. First mile, 712. Pretty windy out my face, but we'll see one step at a time. 703, feeling good. Mile three, 701. So we're going. Gonna turn around soon, so one step at a time. Uh, post seven and a quarter run. It's uh, a winter wonderland out there. I'll show you in a second, but. I lifted with Carter and Wyatt, I ran with Wyatt, did the first seven and a quarter, picked up Willie halfway, shout out Willie, uh, ran back, a lot of people honking, flicking us off, but we got to get the miles in, we're still able to average sub seven somehow for seven miles, but that's what I So, mean. this is what all the roads look like, just completely covered, <clears throat> but like I said, Gotta get the miles in. So, currently walking back to the house with Wyatt's bag as he finishes his run. And we'll see what happens. When your truck gets parked on a hill, well, I park it on a hill, and the cold freezes the gas, and you can't get any gas in the line, and it gets so cold that the inside of your truck had frost everywhere, and you finally got it after trying and trying and trying and trying that you finally got it after using your brain. And shout out to my brother and my mom and my amazing fiance. Woo! I just finished long run. I just put myself inside my hat and gloves because I had to grab my watch. 10 and a half, uh, 638 pace, uh, post lift. Took me three miles to get my legs comfortable and used to moving. And then I was just able to drop 630s, 620s the whole time and got the average down. But it was long, cold, seven degrees alone but the sun was out so it actually felt pretty comfortable once i got going but it was a pretty good long run so we'll see what happens since there's so much snow on the ground the track's not going to be clear i might have to do some awc workouts i'll try to get some clips of that coming live on the vlog uh had back-to-back -back workouts Yesterday, five by five laps and three by three laps in the AWC. It was like 810 and 486 meters, weird intervals, but it was fine. Four minutes rest, two minutes rest. It's 40 minute workout, 16 minutes of running, three and a half miles, 440 pace. It was good, felt smooth, <clears throat> felt good. Hard, different, hard on the ankles. Running those tight curves uh, today. We almost had a track workout because, uh, shout out Coach Ethan, he uh, snow plowed the track, but uh, yeah, it was still a little slick, so we did hills. So me, Carter, PJ, and the rest of the sprinters all did hills. Me, Carter, and PJ had 14 by Cox, and we made the walk down pretty quick. We didn't want to take too much time walking down because we were told to stay smooth and efficient on the way up. So the pace wasn't crazy fast. We focused on form and we shortened the rest by walking down fast and got a good workout out of it in the end. So I'd say it was pretty good. Ended with a lift, ended up doing 300 for five, 315 for four by three. It was good. I had some cleans, had hammies today. So a little plyos, a couple core with Wyatt. So good lift, shout out PJ, shout out Wyatt, shout out Carter. Uh, see what happens, Harv has COVID.
Saturday workout with Carter, Patrick Julian, Alex is over there like always. Uh, had to do Saturday because it was five degrees yesterday and we still did a long run Friday and workout today. We either had threes or twos and we got here and it was pretty windy. So we did 16 twos, two minutes rest. Finally a normal set of twos. But instead of trying to stay consistent, I first seven, 29.30, last nine started dropping. Last three, 25.9, 25.6, 24.7. But it was good. I'll have a Strava post about it. But uh, probably gearing up towards a six, maybe an eight or K for Patrick. We don't know, but me and Carter are going to try to do something stupid in the six, you know, gang up, squat together. So hopefully a fun about four by four too. We'll vlog more as it gets closer. Okay. Um, usually Sunday morning, long run. Like I said in yesterday's vlog, that will be in here. Today we have a recovery run. Just because that's how the schedule worked out. So we did five on the run, six on the day. Strides inside. I'll have a clip of that. Um, it's like negative eight out. So my hand's really cold. I'm eating the Rice crispy before lifting, so deal with it. Uh, yeah, Patrick, you only a baby shout out. What's up? Do hawks standing in my garage because I didn't have my phone on my workout. Woke up this morning and I was eating breakfast. My coach told me to go get on the track ASAP because tested positive for COVID, unfortunately. So a couple more days of isolation. And this is what outside looks like. And he told me to go put on spikes and do a 600 and six 200s. Unfortunately, I fell at like 350 into the 600. I went through the two and 24, I went through the three and 37. So I was on pace for like 50. And I was gonna see what I could close in if I died in whatever, if I ran whatever, it would have been good. There's your mate Wyatt Kelly pulling up, doesn't know how to drive. Um, <laughs> but it's super slick, it was good. My 200s were 26.9, 26.9, 26.9, 26.9, 26.9, just clockwork, but super snowy. Uh, yeah, I just fell on the home stretch, hit a patch of ice, and went down. Took two, three minutes, recovered myself, stepped on the line. Took like a minute 45 in between the twos. It was good. Let's go for a little bit of cool down here, but I don't know. Everything was in spikes, so I'm glad I got to do some work in spikes. There's big dog, you know, big mile coming, so we'll see what happens.